uh, to a game that was the original Soweto derby between Morocco Swallows and Orlando Pirates. Um, it was also the 400th appearance for Happy Jelly for the club. Uh, he got commended for that. And, um, you know, it's, I think it also probably comes at a nice time as far as his career is concerned because now he seems to be enjoying the trust of the co-caretaker coaches um that are currently at the club um you know they 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 seem to see his value uh here's a player who obviously you know as far as we're all concerned is a one club man and uh, a good occasion for him to get on you know to the field and walk away with three points as uh as part of that team kelvin and i mean you know also there were some amazing performances from Mtsago Makubela. i mean he looked like he had been playing in that side for a minute, you know, he just seemed so comfortable and grew into the game in the end. What did you make of um, the original Soweto derby and uh, Pirates winning it 1-0? Yeah, a very good game to watch. More technical, more technical also with the introduction of players uh, being thrown into the pool, which they didn't disappoint. Pirates looks like a team that really wanted it more. Uh, Swallow is also still finding their feet within the game while uh, Pirates at the same time showed intentions of wanting to win this game by all costs. Happy for Mabasa coming in and scoring, which mm. is, has been a drought for Orlando Pirates, for strikers not getting a goal. With an absence of Lodge also not making the situation to be easy, but it's good to see strikers coming up and raising their hands and making sure that they, they, pull, they pull in the result. Uh, also commendable for Happy JL for his 400 cap. I think that gave him a motivation. He wanted it to be something memorable and uh, something that will be remembered to marshal a team. What a way to celebrate your 400 uh, cap and with a win, which is something that Paris really need. It's up to them at this point to make sure that they continue with the same energy. They should understand how they won the game. What were the contributing factors that got them the three points? Even though it's a small margin, but that the champion, uh, championship score, 1-0. Mm. It means mm. from the defensive organization to the midfielder to the strikers, everybody was putting up a shift. If they didn't concede a goal, it's commendable for defenders. If midfielders created for Mabasa to score, it's commendable. If Mabasa got an opportunity, even if it's 20 and then he scored one, that gave Paris the three points. So it's happy to see and also the Again, just to touch on um, the Golden uh, Arrows play and uh, uh, the, one in the, the, the one that was signed, a very mm-hmm. good, exciting Incredible. player that can connect and give that excitement. He reminds me more of the Levo, Levo, uh, Levo Hang Mukwena, uh, still on his prime, who will try and find pockets, move into spaces, want the ball, confidence on the ball, force defenders to make fouls, commit, get uh, uh, players being out of position. This is something Pirates has been missing in the middle. I know with the excitement of Makaring, I think the tactical discipline between the two players that were fielded on a day, it made much of a difference with Nzualo coming in because he was a more player that looks to play forward football. That's, uh, that's, this is when you, you identify a player that is being well coached, not trying to undermine some of the players, but he knew exactly in position where he needs to possess the ball and get the result. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, that um, is a very important one. And I wonder what it does as far as the decision is concerned for Orlando Pirates. Um, Greg, I mean, you know, do you kind of just let this go on with the co-caretaker coaches looking after this team, especially now that they're up and running uh, in what was a slow start to the season? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, they have gotten their chance. You know, I think, if I'm not mistaken, their first game was uh, Nini. Yeah, you know, and now they won uh, the league game. You know, I think, you know, Pirates is always a top team. You know, they go into this game. Uh, they lost against uh, Swallows FC in terms of the MTN8, uh, which I think, you know, that we have it in the back of their mind that, you know, we're not going to lose again. We're not going to lose against them in the league. And, you know, you can, you can see a different Pirates with determination, you know, coming to this game. They have their game plan well, you know, planned in terms of every department. And you know, I just need to take my hat off uh, for Impunchani. You know, I think you know coming in from uh, for, he, you know, for a very long time. I think he hasn't played. You know, and for this season, I think it's his first game. 
and he did very well as a goalkeeper. He was, you know, was confident. You know, he was. Uh, I mean, there's a big save he did uh, towards the end of the of the game, which I mean could have been. You know, we always know pirates. Uh, we always know swallows coming uh, towards the dying minute and uh, snatch a win or uh, get a equalizing goal. But uh, Ponchani did a very big save there, which I'm I'm so proud of. You know, generally pirate was a different team on that day. You know, and uh, yeah. They, they 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 deserve they deserve that uh, that win you know but they need to they need to take it forward now and I think with the co-coaches they have something to work on now. Okay, no, there we go. I guess yeah, for Morocco Swallows, like they can chalk it up to a bad day at the office, Tim. Um, did you see anything from them that kind of shows you what they're going to be doing this season? I mean, um, going on last season and what they achieved, what did you expect? Uh, the Swallows team to be able to do against Pirates? Or do you think, you know, considering the personnel and considering the investment on either side, that, you know, this was one for Orlando Pirates to kind of lay down a marker and get a victory in? Or do you think maybe just Morocco Swallows on the day weren't a good enough opponent? For me, I was, I was impressed with the, the consistency of this uh, Swallows team. Uh, they, they were very consistent. They have got an identity and style of play that they never changed. Uh, and uh, they took the game to, to Pirates. You have got the likes of Nyantama, Agramadine. You know, they, they were crafting and they really wanted it. You have got Kwena, you know, trying to, you know, to, to play. Uh, you have got uh, your Mary trying to, to push. Uh, for me, it's one team that has maintained uh, their identity, irrespective of whether they are chasing the game or not. You know, they, they play, uh, you know, there's that interchanging of the ball. They try to keep it on the ground. Yes, last season they overachieved, but the way they are playing, uh, they will still perform better. You know, against uh, uh, Pirates, yeah, there was that element of, of, of speed, at, uh, you know, at that moment of, of, of conceding, uh, you know, of solos conceding. And it was a well wiped in cross and a beautiful header. Uh, that you, it's, it's very, if you don't prevent that cross in, it's made like it was made. It was a beautiful goal to watch. But I think it lived to, to the title, of, you know, the original, you know, uh, original derby. Uh, it was a very good mm -hmm. game. But this Morocco Swallows team will ask so many teams questions going forward in this season. Well, it will be interesting to see if uh, those teams have the answers. But I guess also what is a scary prospect, uh, Kelvin, is just how, you know, once they get all the bodies back and get that cohesion, Pirates could be quite the proposition this season. I mean, Mabasa comes back, you know, from injury. You still got the likes of La Passa, who still, you know, has a, a, a look in once he's fully fit. So the strikers are there. It's just that they've not been fit enough um, to be options. Um, so I guess... Do you think that if everyone's fit, Calvin, the uh, Pirates are title contenders? True. Yes, I think uh, with the win that uh, they recorded, it's a, it's a confidence booster, and it's for players now to really understand that they are a big team, they can compete, and teams are always one down when they're playing against Pirates because there's too much respect when it comes to these games. As much as this was a derby, but Orlando Pirates at the end of the day had better personality on the field and also had real hunger to win the game because they've been going through a very rough patch. Mm. So for them, they're a team to compete. Yes, they've boosted some position now and again. And also just surprisingly to see Shandu playing as a right back. For me, that was one of the highlights that I, I felt that, yes, as a good playing, a ball playing player, um, good pass off the ball. So what are they looking for? They try maybe to establish that relationship to engage because both teams apply themselves in a 4-3-3. So meaning at the end of the day, what's going to win you the game is the team that is highly technical and the high, a team that is highly technical. So in that sense, you get a team that will want to move the ball around more to see the openings because these formations cancel out each other when it comes to the defensive organization. And it mm -hmm. allows another team to find spaces to play. So it's either you, you, you continue with a high press or you drop, which is with Swallows, it's, as Tim has uh, mentioned. They have that identity of knowing that this team can play. So this is our starting position on how we're going to press. We're not going to press too high up because they know the personality of Jele, who's one that is more cool-headed, in, in starting the ball at the back. 
you have your, your, your Marco and your Shandu who can play and pass the ball because they are more play, these are players that were first uh, selected as wingers on their team. With Marco and uh, mm. Marco playing for Chipa, uh, who was playing more of an offensive, which was a left winger. With the Shandu, there was playing more right wingers for my respect, uh, United. So these are the players that know the principles of defending, even though they might not be good technically when they have to defend, but playing out from the back, it gives them speed and advantage. So it is a team for sure that we can compete all in Paris. And I guess, Tim, you know, it's just a circumstantial situation where Nyawuza got the red card and he's out the team, but, you know, can people take heart from that partnership that they saw at the weekend with Tyson and Jelle being, you know, resolute? I, I guess in the end, clean sheet is also to their credit um, alongside Mponchani. Um, do you think that then has kind of, some, not cemented, nothing is cemented and permanent, but made a great case, I guess, for this to continue as is? Look, you always fancy your chances once given a chance. And then you put in a shift that is commendable. Uh, it gives you another opportunity. You know, when Yoza gets the red card, uh, those are two games. Uh, and you come in, you, uh, you play, you know, according to expectations or you go beyond expectations. You raise, you raise up your hand to be considered. And uh, when Yoza comes back, they, they will have some debates to, uh, some questions to, to answer. But over and above, I think they have assembled a very good team. Uh, secondly, I was very impressed with the comments with uh, Tyson and, and Happy Jerry. Uh, there was that, uh, uh, you know, there was that comments of them playing together. And uh, for a long time, I saw the Pirates players, more especially in the back, uh, you know, accommodating Tyson and, and letting him be uh, to get the best out of him. And so that was residue. If, if they continue with that, they're going to have a very solid back line where, um, Tyson is going to come out as the as the cleaner, uh, as as the fighter uh, for the team, and then uh, Happy Jerry cleans up uh, those loose balls, and you you have the likes of Nyausa and, and going up. I think that will be resolute. Yes, uh, Coach David uh, intimated that uh, it's, it's a team in uh, in progress. Uh, we have had that before. Uh, they are trying to buy time for the team to to, to come down and be competitive. To gel, it, yeah. If you're a coach of Pirates, there's no buying time. You, you are competing. There's, there's no question about it. Mm. If you're Pirates, Chiefs, Sundown, <laughs> we expect the trophy from you. There's no building that type. With the players you buy, they are not for building. They are for winning the championship. Uh, that should be, you know, should be communicated to the players. They should know. Uh, there's no building for such uh, clubs. That's why they go and buy the try and test it. When we get you, if you and are the defenders of the season, right? Listen, <laughs> if you're 15 years, if you are 15 years old and you drink Chiefs Sundowns, we know you are right, ripe to deliver at that moment in time. Okay, well, I want to get it out of all of you. The back pairing for um, Orlando Pirates, how you'd like to see them for the rest of the season, and then. As far as the tip of the spear is concerned, because Somila Landu makes a good point. Pirates must go back to a target number nine if they want success. Past Pirates teams won this way by Clayla McCarthy, Gabuza. Pirates have always had a focal point. So who can be their focal point this season? Um, Kwame Pepper, of course, has been signed. Uh, but there's a lot of players that are already there. Like we mentioned, the likes of Baba. So you've got La Passa, you've obviously got Mango. Who is the tip of the spear for Pirates and who are the two centre-backs at the back? Let's start with you, Calvin. Well, for me, um, I'm still not yet that convinced with the pairing, with uh, maybe JLS uh, legs might be wearing off. Mm -hmm. So, um, the Nyawuza and the Tyson, similar players, so I wouldn't stick to that. But if Happy JLS could stay consistent or they manage him well, I think I'll still stay with this formation at this point, but not having a Uzi there. Because Jale is the more come on, let Tyson go pick from men, men to men and mm -hmm. let Jale sweep from the back. So what the position that they've started with at the back with the Marco and Shandu, not so much confidence on the Shandu in terms of the defensive ability, but the playing ability, I trust him 100%. So the ones on one, the one V ones on the side, is he able to win them? Mm. Not much. Also, Marco, uh, also in his 1v1, is, 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 is a player that is a little bit challenged, but he gives Pirates more. That's why Pirates will always have 
numerical superiority in the middle because of his attack and always opening high up the field. Coming up to the strikers, I feel in a sense that even uh, Pule, Voto, and Lamini, they are all players, not more of a central players that a point of reference who will play off them. They need a striker to play off them so they can activate and have that speed going into the ball. So with Pepra Kwame coming in, he could assist them in that because he's got a mentality of being a striker and staying in the box, being allowed to be bullied so that the bullies, the hotos can profit from the loose sports. Knowing very well that with the Lodge also, he always played well when he's on the outer position. Mango, more of a player that goes into half space to fetch the ball. So you'd be, it'd be ideal if you play within the two, then if Mango will go and fetch, let Papri stay. So then he can be the workhorse. And then Pepper will be the one that will be holding the ball. Then we get crosses in the box. Okay, there we go. Um, Greg, your centre-back pairing, and uh, who is the, the tip of the spear for you? Yeah, apart from, okay, apart from uh, injury-free, everyone is injury-free. I think the pairing there always going to be at the and Tyson. But never forget, don't forget about uh, the, the, the new centre-back they signed from Nigeria. I think, you know, first of all, you need to get used to the culture, get used to mm -hmm. you know, how, the, how the pace of the, of the league is. I think it's going to be one of uh, a good centre-back, you know, to pair with either Apigele or Tyson. But for now, you go with Apigele and Tyson. And up front, uh, it's, just, it's just straight. It's straightforward. Uh, Mabasa, uh, is Mabasa, Mabasa, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Mabasa, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think for me, Apart from his injury, you know, if he's injury free, I think he should be starting every game because his presence is, you know, uh, and if you check his stats, you know, uh, out of uh, two games, he always score one goal. So I think it's a good start for him. So I just feel like, you know, if, he, if he's injury free, I think he should be starting every game. Okay. Interesting uh, take on that one. Um, Tim, I'll come to you now. I'm just going to throw a span in the works to consider that there's young Tabiso Sasani as well, who uh, won the man of the match when he played for Pirates. Um, he's available mostly for the MDC team. So you have that youngster. Uh, you've got the experience in Tyson and Jelly, and you've got the new man who's also in the mix. So much food for thought for the coaches, but your take on that centre-back pairing and uh, who leads the line up front for, for Pirates? I think the, the pairing of Jerry and Tyson is... Uh is the best suited one for now. Uh, I, don't, I don't believe in the notion that the legs are gone. Uh, in that position, actually, they get better with age. A karma, uh, you start playing more intelligently than we're using more of their physical ability. Um, uh, in those positions, you are using more of the intelligence to come and get into those positions and get the team to play. So for me, what would be very crucial is the, the shield that the, the, the central midfielder they're going to they're put in there, but they have shown that they are willing to play. Uh, with the pairing going forward, I can tell you that uh, Pirates has got one of the best strikers in Mango. They just need to have the psychological management of the player. Uh, he's a kind of player where he needs, he needs the technical team and the rest of his teammates to believe that he's good. Because in his mind, he knows he's good. And he, I believe that the rest of the team doesn't believe that he's good the way he believes that he's good. So he has so given... The other, the other strikers, what was the what must they do? They gave him a chance. He, Which one? The other strikers, the other strikers, too, they, they have to, the, the technical team have to believe in them, too. So if you have a chance... No, no, want to no but do, this is what I'm saying. Manga, manga, mm. No. What, what I'm saying to you is Manga has proven that he's a goal scorer. There's no question about that. Uh, mm -hmm. What Manga can give to Pirates is, is there to see. He has proven it. Uh, what has happened with Mango is that he had a fallout with the technical team, the previous, tech, the pre, the previous coach. And that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And I have the feeling that if uh, uh, Coach uh, David and, the, uh, and Blanswood can come on board and get the best out of him, they have got one of the best strikers in the country. That one I can say. And then if you get the likes of Otto, you know, uh, you, you, you are assured of that supply that is coming in. Uh, so with the likes of Pli and those ones can come, they have got quite a very good team. Uh, they, they have got quite a good individual 
layup of, of, of players on the field of play. I would love to see them converted into a team to play as one unit. Uh, if they get them to play as a, as a team, they are one of the first quick player team that can you know, cause havoc uh, in the PSL. Uh, 